Okay, fellow students. Welcome back again. What we need to do now is to substitute some chords, some proper chords, for the bar chords that you've already learned. So, for your convenience, I have numbered my fingers. Look at that for dedication. So, the index finger is finger number one. The middle finger, or yeah, the middle finger, is numbered number two. The ring finger is numbered number three, and the little finger, or pinky, is numbered number four. The strings are numbered from your toes to your nose. So the string nearest your toes is string number one, and the fifth string, the short string, is the one nearest your nose. The fifth string is also known as the thumb string, or the drone string. Drone because you don't fret it, it just rings along sympathetically to the others and thumb because it's only ever played with your thumb. Okay, the first chord, the green chord, G, is an open chord and so you needn't use the fingers of your fretting hand at all. It should sound a bit like that. The second chord, the C chord, the blue chord, is a little bit trickier. You need to take your first finger, finger number one, and place it on the second string at the first fret. When we say first fret, we mean to the left of the very first fret. Uh, or certainly to the nut side of the very first fret, if you're a lefty. Okay? And then you need to take your second finger and place it on the fourth string at the second fret position and then the third finger needs to be placed on the first string again at the second fret position and if you get that right it should sound a bit like this and then finally the third chord, the red chord or D chord it's actually a D7 but it sounds fine and it's easier to play. You put your finger again, your first finger, on the second string at the first fret, so you needn't to move that one, <laughs> and then the second finger on the third string at the second fret. And that should sound a bit like this. And then back to your original chord again. It'll take a bit of practice, that. So uh, have a bit of patience. And uh, little and often is the key. So let's take a look at the chart again and see how that works with the song. 